Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X Research and Professional Physicist, and today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one is a short one entitled, Why do I call the old stars in the sun's corona Planet X objects? And this is in answer to several questions uh, about why I insist on calling these old stars or stellar cores found in large numbers in the sun's corona Planet X objects. And I like to say that there are two main reasons. And we start here with an image of a huge stellar core um, with uh, an, uh, at least one other one in front of it. And they are aligned in this way. And we also see uh, these stellar cores aligned in a similar way in the stereo B images, which I will show uh, further down. Now, Planet X is a term which is more familiar to people than stellar cores. And since I'd like more people to hear about what is going on in the solar system, I like to use a term that may be understandable to the greatest number of people. And the second reason is that Planet X was the name that Dr. Robert Harrington gave to the object he went to New Zealand to search for. And I believe that what he found was an old star, a stellar core, coming in toward the sun. And Dr. Harrington published a paper on Planet X in 1988 in which he speculated about this object's location based on perturbations in the orbits of Uranus and Neptune. However, there had been a, an object which had been called a dark star, um, or this discovery of this object was announced in 1983, and this object had been found north of the ecliptic and in the Orion constellation, and this discovery was based on the IRS observations and infrared telescope that was launched in 1983. So um, the existence of these objects was already known. And now I find it hard to believe that Dr. Harrington did not know about the discovery of this dark star. And the f however, the fact that he went to New Zealand uh, means that he believed that this dark star could not explain those perturbations he wrote about, and that something else had to be out there and south of the ecliptic. And then the suspicious circumstances of his death has led me to believe that he found something. And it most certainly was not just a planet at the outer edges of the solar system. If he'd found a planet at the outer edges of the solar system, he wouldn't have been a threat to Earth in any way. And he would, the powers that be would not have a reason to want to keep it secret. But so uh, the fact that Dr. Harrington was killed suggests that what he found was most certainly a lot more dangerous and definitely a threat to Earth. And therefore, the powers that be, which believed that he wouldn't keep quiet about it, decided to uh, find a way to keep him silent. So I think that it's um, extremely likely that what he found was at least one of these stellar cores that have since then invaded the solar system and are now here in the sun's corona in large numbers. And calling these objects Planet X objects should therefore make sense in terms of the historical significance of Dr. Harrington's paper, Search and Findings. And in a way, it honors his memory. Now here, this is an image from, a stereo, from stereo B, and it's an an HI1 image, and here we see several huge stellar cores uh, aligned in the same way we saw them in uh, the core 2 image. And uh, there are four of them here. There's this huge uh, one in the background. There is this one, which I call the dark triangle stellar core. It seems to be about the same size as the sun. So this one is larger. And then there is the smaller one in front, which is having this huge plasma ejection. And I've called this one the energetic stellar core. So you can see there's one about the same size as the sun with a smaller one in front, which is similar to the arrangement we have here. There may further be another one that's even larger and certainly a lot larger than the sun uh, further out. We do see that it is here. We see this 
a dark pattern on this side of these two objects and this seems to be due to the interaction between these objects and the sun. The sun would be on the left here for these images. And there is another one and um, its position is um, it, the sign of its position is always these uh, circles that appear in these images. It appears to be um, there because the people who are studying these objects want to know where they are. It's not actually possible to see where this object is from the side of the detector. So its position is probably um, highlighted uh, from uh, it being seen on the Stereo A spacecraft. So in conclusion, Planet X objects, which are also known as old stars, brown dwarf stars, stellar cores, and stellar remnants, as these are the many terms I've used in um, the months that I've been writing about what's going on in the solar system. So these objects have invaded the solar system and are found congregated in the sun's corona. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X physicist. Thank you for watching.